Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306. So excited to uh, to bring you this video. So, I've always had a fascination with those little flip dot displays and um, they make they make a seven segment version as well. Now, they're stupidly expensive online if you buy them secondhand off eBay. They're like $10 per like digit. Well, yeah, pretty much $10 per digit or segment plus shipping, which ends up being like about the same price. So it's about like 20 bucks to get like one, which is freaking ridiculous. So I went online and I was wondering if any company still made these or if all you could get were secondhand ones. And um, I found a site, uh, flipdots.com. I'll link it down below. And uh, apparently there's a company based in Poland and they're, um, they're Alpha Zeta. And they still make these types of displays for the kind of outdoors applications like... Um, like uh, gas pumps and that kind of stuff. They'll have like the little digits in there. So I sent them an email asking them, hey, you know, I, I'm a, a small hobbyist and I'm really interested in these displays and I want to make something really cool with them. And I expect, you know, okay, they probably get a lot of replies from like similar people like me. And so I figured, okay, I, I probably won't hear from them. And literally like a day after I sent that email, they replied back to me saying, that sounds really cool. Can you tell us more about your project? And so I did, and they agreed to send free of charge, which is awesome, um, especially since they sent it internationally, too. Um, they sent me six of these specific displays. So we're just going to carefully open this guy. And I've already started kind of designing um, what's going to happen internally with the uh, controller chip. And I've already gotten a board uh, designed from JLC PCB, so... We're pretty much all good to go. Uh, how is this going to open? Yeah, so pretty much just waiting for parts I've ordered. And hopefully we'll, um, we'll be able to make my uh, dream project a reality. So yeah, wow, this is very well packed. And because these are electromechanical displays... It'll make more sense when I pull these one of these out. But yeah, you can see this is one of the digits. And this is absolutely awesome. Wow. They look very small in the pictures. But yeah, these are like a good, about an inch. My thumb from here to here is about an inch. I use this as a roller like every day. But yeah, about one inch digits. And uh, the casing makes it a little bit taller. But yeah, this is perfect. Very high visibility. Um, once you switch a segment on or off and remove power, this display will keep that that uh, configuration and consume no extra power, which is absolutely amazing. And so you can see here on the back, it's basically electromagnets. And um, there's a kind of like a magnetic core material that has remnants. So what that means is if you apply a polarity, like flipping the north-south pole of a magnet, it'll once you remove power, it remembers that polarity and so on the back of each of these uh, little segments I'd be able to see you can kind of flip them carefully um, there's a little permanent magnet and depending on the polarity of when you last set uh, this electromagnet it'll either stay open or stay closed and basically just flips past the uh, black bezel there uh, to not display the digit so hopefully I can very carefully um, open this guy don't want to snap anything there we go so yeah you can see the permanent magnets in here and these are all on pivots so you can see I can make a digit appear or disappear um, just based off of that and yeah the back plane is just this guy so yeah um, you can see as I bring it closer the uh, magnetization will actually flip these up. That's really cool. <laughs> that is really cool. So yeah, I've already... Um, I put up a post. If you guys are interested in finding out more of the technical side of how I'm designing the circuitry to drive this, how I design the software for the microprocessor, uh, head over to a link, a um, hackaday.io page that I created with uh, tons of information and um, PCB shots, like close-ups and whatnot of the boards I ordered. So while I'm waiting, 
um, I pretty much got the software all out of the way for the uh, module level design and we are going to build um, two functions. Uh, first is obviously a clock. You have to build a clock if you have a seven segment display. It's like sort of a universal law. And uh, secondarily, um, it's going to be a sub counter. So there are six digits, so it can count up to 999,999 subs, which I think will last me pretty much till the end of time, uh, seeing as I'm about 8.5K now. So this will last me a very long time, hopefully. And um, yeah, so we're going to build a lovely clock slash Wi-Fi connected sub counter. And so, yeah, you can see these modules right in here. That's absolutely beautiful. The construction is so simple too. Just give you guys a close up of, of those uh, right in there. Isn't that absolutely fascinating? Now they also make really neat um, like um, flip disc ones where it's just a matrix of a whole bunch of little tiny discs and one side's black, the other side's white and it actually just flips 180 degrees and that is absolutely cool. Yeah, there's like absolutely no friction in that. So yeah, even if you tried to flip it with your finger, it would just return to a stable position because of magnetization. Yeah, that's absolutely awesome. I can't wait to get the boards and all the parts and assemble these. That's going to look so nice. Plus, they make a really satisfying click sound when you um, either set or retract one of the segments. And so, yeah, this is going to be sick. I'm super happy. I'm super excited about this. Thank you so much, Alpha Zeta. I was planning on just shelling out for them, and it would have been like a good 100 bucks for six digits, um, and that would have been kind of a little difficult for me. Uh, but yes, yeah, super excited that they're able to to um, donate these displays to me so I can have some fun with them. Thank you, Alpha Zeta, for, for these wonderful displays. I'm super psyched about this. And also thank you, uh, JLCPCB, for supporting my channel and also... Um, for providing free PCBs and sponsoring my content. I couldn't very well end this video without at least testing these out. Now I have a 12 volt DC wall wart and if we want run a uh, quick calculation 12 volts these are about I think 45 ohms ish. Uh, that's 266 milliamps and the maximum rated current is I think it was like 300 and three something like 350 or something from the data sheet now that's rated for um what was it five percent duty so i'm not going to be long with this i'm just going to quickly touch and release just to show you guys what it's like but it does work i have tested it you can see it just clicked off and there you go so it works so 12 volts will run just fine. I was a little worried because it is spec for, I think, like 16 volts, uh, nominal up to like 19 volts. But yeah, 12 volts will run just fine. So the controller I designed is all set to go now. I just need to receive all the parts and assemble. I really can't stop playing with these. I just take off the back and just take a strong magnet and you can... <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is so fun. <laughs> anyway, um, you can see here that there are little bumps of plastic um, from where they actually will hit the center pieces. And this is arranged in such a way, I'm guessing, to decrease um, the surface contact surface area so that when it clicks, um, only that point really touches and so it minimizes, I guess, the noise that it makes.
Anyway, just wanted to do a quick clip of that. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy, and I'll see you later. Bye.